see here here you can assume here you can assume a as 2 no need to assume means a is here 2 and b is equal to b so it's, it is in master theorem so you can apply here the master theorem is tn is equal to a t n by b plus theta n to the power k log p n so it is in master theorem it is in master theorem so you can apply the master theorem here so here a is great is equal to 2 which is greater than equal to 1 b is equal to 2 which is greater than 1 k is equal to 1 which is greater than equal to 0 and p is equal to 0 now compare a and b to the power k compare a and b to the power k what is going to be the a here so a is going to your 2 a is going to your 2 and b is going to 2 k is your 1 so it is going to be equal and p is and p is tell me and p is greater than minus 1 and p is greater than minus 1 because this is going to be the second case greater than minus 1 then tn is going to your then tn is going to your theta n to the power log a b log p plus 1 by n so it is going to be theta n to the power log a b a and b is 2 so it is going to be 1 only p plus 1 is 0 so it is going to be log n so theta is going to be n log n theta is going to be n log n ok so theta is going to be your n log n so you can say that n square can I say that if theta is your means big O is also you can say that big O since it is theta so it can be also big O of n log n so this is true and since it is n log n you can even say that it is n square it is greater than this term is greater so this is also true n log n theta you can say but it is saying omega it is saying omega that, that it is saying that tn is greater than n square it is saying that n log n see tn is equal to omega means it is saying that tn is greater than equal to c n square but if you will take but n log n n is not greater than is not greater than c n square is not greater than but c is the correct option because it is false it should be big o it is not greater than n square n log n is not greater than n square please let me know whether it is clear or not